welcome back to the channel and as promised we're going to go over sunshine superman lead and i'm going to add to what dave and jim did last weekend it's a jimmy page part and i'm going to try to cover it to the best of my ability so here we go okay so we're going to cover jimmy page's basic part there is a 12 string guitar in the background playing some similar things but uh, the main thing he's doing at the very beginning is going with a volume pedal which is turned down and he plays this lick here on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth fret. And he does this. But what he's doing is he's turning the volume pedal all the way down and then playing the lick and turning it up. Like that. Now, if you don't have a volume pedal, you can do like the Nashville cats do and pluck it like this and go bring it up with your guitar volume which he might have done we're not sure if he had a volume pedal or not volume pedal on the floor volume with your guitar so he starts off with a couple of those and then he moves into the main lick which he alters a little bit here and there but it's So what that is, is when he's bending this lick here, he's bringing it down a half step with the bend. It's a very cool lick. And then he's playing sort of an arpeggio. And then when it goes to the F, he changes a little bit and goes. So he still goes down the half step here. And then he goes. So again. And then back to. And when it goes to the chorus, I don't really hear him playing much in there, but he does in the solo. But if you were to play along, it would be G sharp or A flat down here. When you change your mind up. To an F sharp or G flat right here. And then back to. Then when it changes chords, one mistake there. Now we're going to go over the solo a little bit here. It's kind of a basic 60s solo. There's a couple of tricks. I don't know if I can nail it exactly what Jimmy did, but he goes into uh, C sharp. And then he goes up too. And then when it goes up to the F, he goes, oops, sorry, F sharp. Back down to, and he, he throws in a little bit of the B string too. So from the beginning,
Going up to the... And when it goes to the chord change there, it sounds like he does the volume thing and just sort of goes... And then back to... So it's basically some 60s licks, these right here. And without the B string. All right, let's see if I can play it along with Jim and Dave.
see you next time.